Yeah, that time of year, Memorial Day weekend, the official kind of kickoff to summer. It's uh, lake season here in North Texas and the weather today, absolutely for it. A very hot day today, lots of humidity and all that heat and humidity led to a very unstable atmosphere. And what's happening out there at the moment is we have one supercell storm that has really blown up and it has a tornado warning in northern portions of our viewing area. But that also means a tornado watch in effect for uh, Grayson County, Cook County, Denton County, Wise County and Montague County because of this one supercell it is the only storm that is out there tonight, but it is quite a storm at that. It is a classic supercell has that hook to it. Good inflow coming into the storm. A new tornado warning was just issued uh, now for southern portions of Cook County does include a sliver of Grayson County there, and it does now include northern Denton County because the storm actually tracking maybe a little bit more southeastward than due eastward here, but still the areas that I was talking about off the top of the newscast uh, still under the gun for possible tornado and severe weather threat. Gainesville, you're going to get some hail, but you are not in the uh, immediate tornado threat. It's more so between Sanger and Valley View along I-35 because here, I mean, Here's the hook of that storm. There's the good inflow. Here's where that rotation is going to be just north of the county line between Denton and uh, Cook County. Absolutely can see the strong rotation there. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Basically right on top of highway uh, or FM 51, I should say. Era, you need to be in your safe spot or needed to have been in your safe spot. Valley View to Sanger to northern Denton County. I drew a little bit of a track on here. I would adjust this maybe a little bit farther south uh, to include areas south of Pilot Point. I would include Sanger in this. So if uh, let's see here if Tioga's, you know, 1108 Pilot Points, 1106 Mountain Springs, which is right here is about 1055. I would uh, wager a guess that Sanger would obviously be before Mountain Springs, say here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. So Sanger safe spot for you. Anybody along I-35 between Sanger and Valley View absolutely need to be in your safe location. Pilot point uh, farther to the uh, east a little bit longer time before the storm reaches you but you are underneath the warning as well so anybody in northern Denton County and southern Cook County I'm gonna step out of the way here I'm actually just gonna go back over and uh, delete this um, track and go ahead and just draw a new one on here for you so we can get the latest information because I don't want to be guessing um, if we're talking about a dangerous situation here so there's all the communities that are underneath this warning. It includes Sanger along 35 up to Denton or up to Valley View, I should say. It includes Aubrey, includes Pilot Point. Does not include immediate uh, city of Denton at the moment, uh, but does include basically anywhere north of 380 uh, in Denton County. So here's kind of a new track for you. Um, some of the communities in, in northern Denton County and also into uh, southern portions of Cook County and also a little bit of Grayson County as well. So Bolivar, it would be here in the next five minutes, basically. Sanger, there you go, about 1045. Pilot Point a little bit after 11. Aubrey uh, a little bit after 11 as well. And this storm has showed no signs of weakening anytime soon. It is still very warm. It is still very humid. It still has a lot of fuel for this storm. Um, could potentially just keep going here for another little while. So we'll continue to monitor that for you. Because as I said, I mean, it, it blew up. I mean, just absolutely blew up in Montague County. I, th I thought things were really winding down, then this one storm blew up, and it's got a lot of fuel to work with as it moves across uh, the area. So hopefully it'll weaken. We are going to get some sinking air moving in as we head into the later night hours, but um, at least for now, we're going to continue to keep that tornado threat for uh, northern portions of uh, kind of Denton County and then also into Cook County. And then also, if it can hold together, we'll need to monitor it uh, for portions of Collin County as well. That storm will eventually fizzle out, and then there could be a little activity late tonight and into tomorrow morning between about 4 a.m. to uh, 8 a.m. That likely not to be severe if it is a little bit of uh, wind and hail, but not overly concerned with that. Otherwise, it will be a hot end to your Memorial, a hot Sunday, and then a very warm Monday for your Memorial Day. A few storms tonight, 75 for your low. Some of those obviously could be severe, hot and breezy. 98 my high tomorrow, and the record is 99 degrees. 94 on Monday for your Memorial Day, but both tomorrow and Monday during the day have low storm chances, which is good news. Then the storm chances ramp up as we head through the upcoming week. We also need to worry about maybe some decent rain headed our way this uh, through the second half of this next week and into next weekend, but it will knock those temperatures back down into the 80s. So this time of year, if you want cooler temps, usually comes with uh, 
uh, rain chances and I'm just looking at some of the latest reports here. I know I need to toss to break, but I do want to include this. Um, it does look like in portions of Monte County back when that storm was in Monte County, we have trees down, power lines down and at least one house destroyed south of Forestburg. Um, also report of uh, hay bales and uh, other uh, farm equipment turned over in a portions of Monte County back when that storm was that way. I know there was so very, very strong winds at a minimum, uh, but also there was a very tight rotation there and it could have potentially produced a tornado and we'll continue to monitor that. We'll have more updates uh, through the rest of the night. Let's go to a quick break and we'll be back after this.